Hey you guys, Jess with Kotech Time. This tutorial is about storyboard tumblers. Now, the first three styles I'm showing you can find on Stainless Steel Depot. This final style is discontinued and much harder to get your hands on because it is completely sold out. Um, what a storyboard tumbler is, is a cup that has acrylic on the outside and with different mediums that you put inside of it. You can have glitter flow on the inside, blood drips, whatever that looks like. This is the 12 ounce size. This is the smallest size they make. It's just a little guy. 20 ounce size. And this one is still in the works, but this is mixed with a blood drip and then the bigger 30 ounce size. Okay, so the tumbler that we're gonna be recreating is this tumbler. I had a lot of questions on how I did this cup. Um, so this is the one that we are going to be recreating. Like all snow globes, you must shake them up in order to kind of get the glitter to move around. They do settle. Um, it's one of those things that you really need to make sure your customer understands that the glitter is going to fall and settle. Have the customer store the cup like this, upside down in their cupboard. Um, and then when they're ready to use the cup, all the glitter will already be down here. And the first time they flip it, it'll have that effect right away. Um, these are only single walled. So this is what it looks like when you get it. You're gonna unscrew the bottom and I use my fingers to kind of work the plastic shield. Some of them are a little bit harder to get apart than others. I'm gonna leave my paper in there for now because I don't want the inside of this to get dirty. And I'm just going to keep all of this together for now inside my box because I don't need this portion right now. This is the portion that we're gonna be working on right away. Again, this is the style that is hard to find. These are the styles that you can find at Stainless Steel Depot. So this is the part that you work on first. Now for this portion, you're going to tape off your top rim. bottom rim, the little screw part. And this is just normal prep work. So you're going to sand it and then you're going to put down your base colors.
Okay, so what you just saw me do was apply Tacket to my painted base. I did do an ombre, so I started with a darker blue, went to a lighter blue, a sea foamy, and then just to white at the bottom. This is the same as pretty much any beach tumbler that people do. Um, I'm going to go in with, uh, this is from Glitter Chimp, this is Blue Bonnet. This is um, holographic that I'm using. I am not by any stretch of the imagination the perfect ombre person. There's some really, really amazing artists out there that are way better than me. This is just how I do it. This is Blue Lagoon from The Glitter Guy. Poise from the glitter guy. This is just some Karen. This is my uh, ocean wave color. And then Beach Bash goes at the bottom. On this one, for the most part, you're really not going to be able to see this portion. But I still do it. Just in case. Now, move this guy too out of the way. Once I have my colors on here, I'm going to perform the rubbin just like you would when you do any of the tack it method. Okay. 
can see I'm staying in the blue area first. And now we're going to come down to the bottom. That is what the cup should look like and feel like. I'm going to pull my tape off my rim. And try to get it off this bottom as well. paper towel and I go right here this kind of pushes this glitter down and then I will spray this with triple thick before I do epoxy so it'll get oh, just a light coat of triple thick hey you guys we're at the beach portion of this tumbler so basically all that I've done is once I did my tacket, I did spray it with um, a little bit of triple thick. Um, and then I usually let it sit for a little bit of time. These I actually let sit overnight, um, but usually I don't wait that long. And then I just put a layer of epoxy on these. And now I'm going to go in and I just put alcohol links directly on these. This is Indigo by Tim Holtz. If you've done beach cups before, then this part is probably not going to be super interesting for you. You know, I don't like editing these, so feel free to uh, fast forward. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if you just saw that, but that was amazingly fun. fog in there. It would not be a Jessica tutorial if I didn't just spray myself and everything around me with alcohol ink. There's no way this is coming off just so you know. It's going to be permanently on me. This is Turquoise by Brie Reese. Freaking awesome. And we got pool. Turquoise and pool are probably super close to each other, but I also have Baja Blue, Pinata. We're going to see how this shakes out. I'm excited to see if uh, I can get this alcohol ink off my arm at any point in this century. Okay. So... We're just going to take our white
good times, you guys. Out for the heat gun and get all this alcohol like, away from me because goodness I don't even know what my face looks like. Seriously, you guys, don't. <laughs> if the nozzle is clogged, let her be. Just to add a little bit more white down at the bottom of this guy, and then I'm not going to touch these guys anymore. paper towel and any epoxy that I might have gotten along this rim, I'm just going to wipe it off. So we'll let these guys spin 
for the rest of the night. Um, and then when the epoxy is completely cured, then we can move on to putting our plastic cover on. Hopefully by then I'm still not bluish purple. Again, this is the cup we are recreating, kind of. <laughs> um, obviously anytime you use alcohol inks and things like that and they explode the way they do, you're going to get a little, a little bit different effect, but overall they always end up pretty beautiful. Okay, so I've shown my smoke effect before, but I'm just going to go ahead and show it again. I pull my tape off, exposing the seam, and I'm just going to reuse this tape to do my smoke effect. I just kind of twist it a little bit. I am in my kitchen, so I have running water. And that is how I do my smoke effect. Hey you guys, so in the middle of working on the beach cup, I made um, the cup using the thermochromatic powder and I am working with epoxy, so obviously I'm going to be trying to work as quick as I can. Uh, this is the thermochromatic powder. I got mine from Amazon. I'm just going to mix this in with my epoxy. I've already epoxied some cups over here. Um, this is the black to colorless. Now it's going to look gray right now because epoxy is warm um, and it might even change on its own to the clear, but that's okay. So we're just going to mix it in. I'm actually almost out, so I'm just going to go on ahead and finish this bad boy off. while I'm here. So the cups that I've done, um, I've painted these white. I did the smoke effect and I've already got my decal on each one of these cups. And it's just coating them like you normally would. Let's start down here. This is temperature sensitive. So right now as it's coming out and it's hitting the air, it's obviously going to darken up right now. But essentially all that I've done is I've taken this and um, I use ProMarine um, epoxy and not all the time. I've got a couple different epoxies that I kind of work through, but 
I do really like the Pearl Marine. It's working for me right now for this time of year. So all you do is you coat this and let it spin. It darkens up and that's basically it. That's all I did to make it go from hot to cold when it's got the liquid inside of it. So I'm going to keep coating these guys and I hope this helps. You guys know I don't like to edit so I'll go ahead and stop here. That way this doesn't get to be very long of a video. But yep that's what that is. Okay so I'm back. All three cups are coated and now what I'm going to do is apply my heat just to even out my epoxy. Um, this is also where you're going to see that the cups are going to change based off the temperature. As they cool, they will darken back up. Um, and then anytime hot liquid is poured into them, or if they are in heat, they will lighten up and you'll be able to see whatever image you want to show in the background. <laughs> 